Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. Um, today's video, I am going to um, reveal the March kit. And the March kit is now available in my Etsy shop, Mixed Media Minnesota on Etsy. And I'll share a link in the description box below this video. Um, and it is now shipping. If you have a subscription with me, your kit has been shipped. Um, if you're interested in a subscription, I also have that in my Etsy shop. And that's just three months you can purchase at a time. So you would get... Um, the March, April, and May kit. So, all right, let's 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 move all the goodies here. It's Rose Perfume by Stamperia is the collection. And I'm just going to move all these goodies out of the way here. And then we're going to have a look at the paper here. Let's make sure you guys can see here. So it's really pretty. I'm excited to play with this one. So in here there's kind of, there's some fussy cuts and some like word titles and little labels, that kind of thing. And then the colors are really fun. I think they, they think they're really fun. I like the the pinks and the greens and browns and blues, that kind of thing. So here's some perfume bottles, some roses. And on the back of that one, there's like this script on here. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a different spot than normal, but okay. But that's really fun. There's like little stamp, cancel stamp things on there. And like, this looks like a lease border around it like maybe like a handkerchief or something behind there and then this one has um like some script what that was okay this one has some script or not scripts but like text in the background and um some letters here perfume flowers there is some script i guess up there and these flowers are just beautiful again love the colors and look at that isn't that pretty this reminds me of old like quilt or something that's pretty and here it has some journal cards so beautiful flower in the back of those you can write on i love when they're like that when they're back so you just cut them out and you can tuck them in a pocket isn't this pretty i love this page absolutely love it there's script all over in the background some splatters just the layers and stamp area paper is amazing and the back of that one is the pink color with the script in the background, little roses. And this one is a lot of fun. When I first saw this one, I thought um, it would be really fun to use this for like a journal cover. And then I got to look at it and I was like, everybody's making those tall ones, you know, that would be kind of cool, I think, if you could, I don't know, or cut this out as a topper, maybe. But it's really pretty. There's just tons of layers and patterns in each design. And this one almost has like the watercolor effect in it. It's really pretty. And some more flowers and just a good blend of all the colors. I love this with the old like newspaper in the background. That's pretty. And here's a full sheet of that one. These would be fun to cut out. It's like a collage sheet. It's so pretty. And here's some little journal cards. And those ones aren't backed, but isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. This one's a little bit of different flowers in here. Again, the like ads or newsprint kind of stuff in the background is really cool. Same flowers on the back with the script. It's pretty watercolor. And here we have an envelope and some circles and little labels and fussy cut items we can cut out. I like the back on this one like a tan color and it's pretty. And here's all kinds of fussy cuts, like lip, uh, labels and that kind of thing. I'm guessing they're probably like perfume labels. So so you get that, um, and that is the 12 by 12. Um, there's 10 sheets double-sided in there. And then you're going to get the one sheet of the rice paper, and this one's really pretty. It's got like the muted roses in the background. So this is a fun one, but I would like rip it and Mod Podge on napkin, or on, like a napkin, but Mod Podge it on like an envelope or something. Okay, what else do we have here? A pack of the rub-ons, and, and you guys know I love rub-ons. Like I, if I'm, when I make my journal with this one, I'll probably use this whole pack just on the ephemera and stuff. But they're so pretty. And this one, this collection comes with fabric, so we're gonna go ahead and open this. And there's four pieces in there, and I believe it was said they were, I should have looked, but 12 by 12. They all have these little bands on that are fun to keep too. Sorry if you hear the doggies barking. 
It wouldn't be normal if they weren't, right? <laughs> All right, let's look at these. Well, this is that really light pink pretty page. I'm pretty sure they're 12 inches by 12 inches. We'll check, but yeah, that's what they are. But isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that be a fun cover? Or I mean, even like stitched on a page in your journal. You know, you could flip this up, you know, for pocket or something. But there's that one. And then this one is bright and cheery. If I can get it unfolded. Yeah, that's really pretty. Cut up and use them um, in fabric flips and that kind of thing would be neat too. This one has a little bit of the muted colors. It's pretty. This is the first time I'm seeing the fabrics, so. Oh, this is that fun, like, turquoise script-looking page with the stamp things on there. That's cool. Maybe some fabric tags. I haven't done that for a while. Maybe we should give that a try once. I think we will. That's what this one, I think this one's going to go into fabric tags. All right, so you get those. And then make sure you save these little things that were wrapped around them because they're fun. And then you're going to get this pack of ephemera here and also this pack of ephemera, both from the collection. Um, I don't know how, if they're, how many, the number of them around here. It says they're adhesive cutouts. So should we go ahead and open them? Before we open them, let's see, you get this little ink dauber here and this uh, Ranger Distress uh, Worn Lipstick. So I'm going to set this stuff all aside so we can open the ephemera. Like to kind of look through them really quick because I haven't I haven't opened them yet. And there's all kinds of goodies in here. Isn't that flower pretty? So pretty. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Little perfume bottles and flowers, all kinds of fun. And I like that some of them are smaller. You know, there's all different sizes. So when you're layering up, you know, can that wreath? Yeah, I feel like they are stickers. I could peel off the back. So pretty, a little clock in there. This little cluster of flowers, some perfume bottles, memories. This would be a fun thing to turn into a tuck spot, you know, put some glassine like on the back of it or acetate or something and then make a pocket. Maybe that's what I'm going to do with that. So that would be fun. Oh, I was like, what do we have here? I was like looking at this and I was like, that's not a boat or what is that? I couldn't figure it out. And it's this lady. Two ladies there. And it's a fun little treasure box. Another one of the little words there. So that's the first one. I'm just going to move that up here. And then the next one here kind of looks like punch outs. You know, like you can punch part of it out and stuff. You're making a mess of that, one, that bag. Yeah, see like this, this, these punch out of here. So then you have that little rose. So there's those some frames. Like these frames are really cool. Let me punch this all the way out. I can't hold anything. My hands are cold. That's really pretty. Lady. <laughs> Lady. And some leaves. Yeah, that's pretty. It's the first time I'm looking through them, so. Isn't that cute little envelope? That's just adorable. Little person there, oh birdies. Little bird. All kinds of fun stuff. Another one, looks like she's sitting there. Ooh, that's a cute one. Very fun. Yeah. Then you just, you know, finish punching these out here and then fun, fun. So all kinds of ephemera. I'm just going to go ahead and mix the two of them because they're going to go in the same little bin. 
So when I work on the journal with this one, I have it all together. So there you go, guys. I hope hope you guys enjoy that. And if you want to check it out, hop over on Mixed Media Minnesota's Etsy shop. Hold on, I dropped the little dauber here on the floor. Um, and click on the, well, you can get in the description box below this video and click on the link and it'll take you there. But there we go. That's our March kit. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon. You guys take care.